Now, I'm going to ask you once again, third time, do you believe late-term fetuses are entitled to any protections in the United States of America? I believe the law should be what it is, Bill, and right, I believe so 37 you states the ban the procedure, and you're okay with those 37 states banning it. it yes, I'm fine with some states banning it. I, but I personally think it should be legal. I think okay. it's always got to be. You think it's always got to be legal? Decision but, of the mother. But you're you are not willing to state that the late that a late term fetus is entitled to any national protection at all. None. It's it's got no, to I'm be. No, I'm not. Okay. I'm really not. All right, fine. But but the issue law, here, you know, there honest. are a lot of things that are legal in this country that people are very upset about. There are people who think guns should be abolished. Right. I'm not one of them, but let's just take that no, as an example. No, we're not going to take okay? that as an example. Now, we have more be, important things to okay talk about. Would it be okay for those people to go crusade against gun dealers and put their pictures up and call them baby killers and say they have blood on their hands well, look, and pick at their uh, John, stores? Look, you can, that's you can a legal, make any theoretical that's, that's a legal right you want. that many people think should not be. John, you need to change the laws. You don't need to crusade like a vigilante against somebody oh, performing a legal medical anything. procedure. Everything and that's I reported what you did. is absolutely true. Tiller was running an abortion you mill. Him. Forty-two he was, times, hey, twenty-four times he over a period a of five years, he was running Four. an abortion mill. Everybody in Kansas knows a legal it, facility. and you don't care. You don't. He was running care. a legal facility. You know who has blood on their hands? You. You don't care That's about these babies. That's ridiculous, Bill. It isn't ridiculous. You're the zealot. You know, you're, you're really, the you're zealot. a piece of work, no, my friend. No, you're the one who has blood I don't have blood on my hands. You're you the do. zealot. Who I won't even consider for anything. I won't you won't even consider that this man I'm a pro-choice Catholic who believes you're, in abortion reduction and working with young girls and giving them rights, giving them information. Be Dr. Don't Welby. demonize me, my friend. Uh, look, don't you demonize couldn't me, care my less friend. about anything that he did. Anything that he did really? was okay with you. Anything that Tiller was did legal, was Bill. okay with you because of your it far was legal, left Bill. lunacy. Anything. Anything he did Bill, was okay I, with you. Am I going to get to talk here or will I always have to talk over you? No. I ask you the question, you don't answer it, you want to talk about gun You're control. You're asking me one question over and over and over again. You don't believe I'm in any protections at all, what he and you think did, Tiller is what Dr. Welby. What he did was legal. And I didn't say he's Dr. Welby, but yes, I know women who consider him a hero, Bill. Yeah, that and is you the do too. In our society. You do too. You think he's a hero. I, you know what I do? I know. There I you do go. consider him a Thank hero. Thank you. And look, Thank Bill, you. you crusaded against him. You, you crusaded bet. against him. He had been shot twice and I'm already. sorry about his that. His clinic had been exploded. I'm his, sorry his about that, but my constitutional bombed, rights vandalized. says, I can say what I say, you say what you say, as vile as you say it, you can say it. And I would never condemn you for saying it. You are misguided, you have blood on your hands, because you portray this man as a hero when he killed late-term babies and you routinely attack reasons. you routinely attack people on the left Jane Ann Garofalo Michael Moore who you think their rhetoric leads to potentially to violence it never has led to one act of violence but you've already driven that crazy guy uh, in in Knoxville last year who read your writings and then went and shot up a church and shot liberals that's already happened once and you don't feel any responsibility at all now that it's happened a second time Bill Talk Ms. about blood in your hands. I appreciate you coming on a program. I think everybody knows exactly where I you're coming from. Listen to Kelly, who at age 13 went to Tiller for a late-term abortion. Dr. Tiller came in and injected um, into the amniotic sac um, saline solution, which suffocated and burned my baby to death. And they told me to sit on the toilet, lean on the nurse, and push push my baby into a toilet and after that they wheel you into another room to um, remove all the you know after birth and really that's the only two times I ever saw the doctor was when he injected the saline solution and when he finished the process by removing the afterbirth. But Tiller himself when he injected the uh, fetus with the killing agent and then when he took the afterbirth he never said anything to you at all? This will all be over soon. This will all be over soon. What happened to the body? The I, have, I have no idea. I left my baby dead in a toilet.